How's it going? This is Dylan, and today we're going to discuss whether you should use a Vibramate on your Telly Bigsby setup on Dylan Talks Tone. So here's a question that comes up on the internet all the time. People want to put a Bigsby on their Telly style guitar, and they wonder if they should use a, a Vibramate or not. First of all, what is a Vibramate? It is this thing right here. It is a plate, an adapter plate, that goes onto the body of the guitar, hooks into a specially designed bridge, and then allows you to mount a Bigsby on top of it without having to do any drilling or any damage to your guitar, theoretically. So what are the gives and takes to this? Well, obviously, the number one benefit would be if you ever wanted to take it off, all you do is remove the end pin and the thing slides off and you have a normal telly again. Um, the only thing I would caution you to is, depending on how it's mounted, sometimes this thing right here can make a mark on it, okay? So, you're already thinking, what are the downsides? There can't be a downside if I can pull it on and off at will and use whatever I want. Let's look at a guitar that has a Bigsby B5 on it and no Vibramate, and I'm going to show you a couple of kind of things that matter. All right, so here is a, a Dylan T-style guitar, and we have a B5 that is mounted directly to the body. Okay, it's drilled right in. Now, one of the things that comes up when you want to put a Bigsby on a guitar is people are going to say, well, am I going to lose sustain because it changes the string length and all that kind of stuff? Now, I'm not going to say whether it loses sustain, but what I will say is it will change a little bit about the guitar, and here's why. The beauty of a Telecaster, and one of the things that gives it its sound, is that break angle over the bridge as it, the strings go back through the body, okay? That's one of the things. Obviously, the pickup and the metal plate and all that stuff, that's other stuff. But that break angle right there is super key to the tone. That's why uh, you can change the tone on a Tele by changing the saddles pretty, pretty easily, okay? So you give up some of that break angle when you put a Bigsby on there, right? So it comes over here instead of going straight through the body. When you add a Vibramate, you're adding height to the entire thing. The way we get around this whole break angle problem Obviously, you have to shim the neck a little bit, and so we've come up with, uh, it's right around three to four degrees, depending on the guitar, to give you a proper break angle to kind of get some of that back, okay? And if you put this plate underneath this uh, tailpiece, then you have to fight that even more so and get more neck angle in there. That's why I don't like using these, because it messes with all of the, the, uh, the break angles and, and everything. So that's why I don't like them. And depending on the saddles that you use, it, the brake angle can get so low that it'll actually slide around and give you playability problems and tuning problems as well. So that brake angle is very important. I'm going to show you one more guitar that is kind of designed specifically for a Bigsby and solves all of these problems. All right, so this is a Tele style guitar with a B16 Bigsby on it. This guitar has been designed specifically to have a Bigsby on it. You notice that the bridge pickup is actually encapsulated in the bridge, uh, in, in the actual tailpiece itself. It has what's called a Sorkin Bowtie bridge on it. And if you look here, we'll show you a close-up of this, the height of the strings is very, very high off of the guitar. There's about six degrees of angle in the neck pocket here, and it gives you a really nice break angle uh, for everything to work. This, that being said, this is a different tailpiece and everything kind of works together differently. This is a huge commitment because you almost have to design the guitar around it. Uh, that's like this one and some others that we've built. So this is kind of like all in Bigsby. So the question being, do you want to use a Vibramate on your guitar? Just remember the gives and takes. The cool part is you don't have to drill any holes. The not as cool part or thing that you'll have to compensate for is the added thickness of this thing and the setup and is it going to get you the sound the sustain and the playability that you want by adding the thickness of this thing in there so it's a little bit of a give and a take if you want to buy one of these we'll leave a link in the description below and we'll show you where you can get one uh, these are really cool and they do work uh, but like i said there's gives and takes to everything 
My name is Dylan, and this has been Dylan Talks Tone.